what's going on this is your host solo mission i'm back on here with my latest video this is not the video that i originally had in mind so i'm gonna scrap that and i'll come back and do that at a later time so with this video right here we're just gonna go ahead and dive into this topic and keep it 100 percent real because we know women hate the truth and so that's the title and then of course this falls under the category of MGTOW. and so let me go ahead and dive into this video real quick all right now, my videos on this channel is geared for men that's going MGTOW, pre and post MGTOW. I get a lot of feedback on this particular platform and other platforms that I'm on about certain videos and topics that we are discussing. This video right here in this channel is a non-monetized channel. I don't want your money. Keep your money. The only thing that I ask is that people, if you agree with the video or you, even if you just hear one word in the video that you like, hit the like button so YouTube can boost the video so Maybe another guy can hear it and he can relate and resonate with the message. That's all I ask. For women that watch my MGTOW content, of course you're not going to agree with everything I say. My videos is not attacking you, so don't take it personally. You know, get out your feelings, if you will. Huh? My videos is not attacking all women. It's the women that I have seen and come in contact with over the years of dating. Alright? And... What I see in the current generation of women. So I come here and I report via videos to many men out here. And we have that dialogue in the comment session, live videos, and other platforms as well about we see with women. My videos is geared to the everyday man. The man is working two or three jobs trying to pay child support, alimony, trying to pay anger management classes, probation classes, trying to get his license unto suspended. Because he was dealing with a vindictive baby mama. That kind of scenario. My videos sometimes can be deep for the man out there that's contemplating suicide. I try to come with videos. I get a lot of feedback. I leave videos for the man that may fall upon my video just by chance. Dude might be looking forward to work. Out of work looking for a job. Online trying to have a moment to... Stop looking for work and watch a video just to break that tension from looking for work because that can be frustrating for a man. The only thing that's going to humble a man and, and, and hit a man's ego is not having a job to bring home that income to be a man. That's a man's manhood, his livelihood, making sure he can take care of himself and if he have any kids or a child, providing for his family. It's nothing that a woman can do beside a man that, that not having his shit together. That's the number one thing that'll keep a man up at night, or it should. Making sure you can handle your own. So that's what my videos is geared for. My videos is not on here to seek a woman's approval, get her attention, to get her to, to, to like and leave a cute ass comment. Nah. I'm not Derek, whatever the fuck his name is, that come on every video and uplift women. If you're dealing with a man that don't give a fuck about you, you need to get the fuck on and find you a real man. Yeah, a real man. I'm not him. I'm not him. All right? So go find you a channel where you got an African-American man praising African-American women 24-7. No. All right? When I come on here and do my videos, my shits are real and direct. A little humorous at times because I'm trying to break the tension because I know men are going through real shit. So I throw a little humor in there to break the tension, yet get my message across. Men, stay woke. The game is real out here. The system is designed for women, for women to take advantage of it, leaving the man out there to fend for himself. But we know that shit already. It's been going on for years. See, men have been brainwashed, the older generation, for this just to fall in line. Like, like the dominoes, just, just fall in line. Men are now breaking that curse with this MGTOW shit. Men have been doing it before MGTOW. But now men can come and find these MGTOW videos and unite as one. Now, MGTOW has some flaws. I don't see a lot of different versions of MGTOW. You got the race tension version of MGTOW, which I would never understand. Not here for all that. You got your MGTOW monks who give two shits about women. They're not dating women, don't care to be in women, at, at none of that shit. With women again. I'm not a MGTOW monk. That's why I created the term MGTOW player. Because I interact with women, date women, court women, have a good time with women. However, with the strong philosophy and ideology of MGTOW, I'm not 
the white knight. I'm not looking to settle down, build a family, have kids. I don't need a woman to boost my ego, make me feel special, rub my feet, cook dinner. I don't, no, I'm good. I'm great, as a matter of fact. See, when we come on here and do our videos, it's just a report card for what we've been experiencing for years. <laughs> But when we talk about women hate the truth, I think men know that already, all right? When I talk about not being a simp, we know for me to tell men that if you sit there and allow yourself to be played, you sitting there constantly putting pussy on the pedestal because you haven't mastered dating the fours and fives and sixes out there. And then you meet a eight, nine, and 10 level woman. She's beautiful sexy, nice working female, she goes to the gym, she's eating healthy, that kind of level female. They're out there now, driving the two-seater Mercedes Benz, they out there. If you can't handle these threes, fours, and five women, you're gonna not you're gonna fail with these women up here. Either way, I personally don't get no fucks because I'm not looking to rise up to the occasion, if you will, to prove to this eight, nine, and ten women that I'm on her level. It's not in my interest no more. Gives no fucks. However, as a MGTOW player, that's a challenge to me. I ain't got no problem with rising up to the occasion and showing you that I can bring you back down to earth and show you a good time and beat that pussy up real good in the bedroom. I ain't no problem with that. The question now when a MGTOW man goes MGTOW is, do I even want to do that shit anymore? Do I want to do that? I don't even think I want to do that shit no more. That's what the question is that MGTOW men ask themselves. I don't even want to do that shit no more. I mean, I could. No, that's not in my interest no more. My interest is making sure I have my shit together. If I have kids or children, making sure they're straight. When I leave this earth, my kids are always straight. This is the shit that men are thinking about now, or they should be post midtown. After the red pill rage, after the venting, after the realization that you was a simp and you was used and all that shit. After that fact, for men that have kids, you got to take care of the responsibility. For men out there that are working the jobs and going through all that and contemplating this. It's a lot of things that men go on that they keep balled up. When I come on and do my videos, I try to hit it with the humor, but I try to hit it on all different directions. I get a lot of feedback from here in the States and overseas. Some of the feedback I get kind of blow me away because I'm not knowing how far reaching my videos are going. I just come on, get my opinion. People leave me comments. We can chop it, chop it up, talk it good, and it's all good. Most of my videos can fall in the category of positive affirmations because that's what I look at them as. You go on MGTOW? Welcome to the family. Here's another positive affirmation video for you to keep you going, man. Because a lot of men, they go MGTOW and they say they backslide. They get back in that simp role. They meet them at 8, 9, and 10. She's the beautiful woman they ever met. And they start falling in line with that simp. Calling all the time. Texting all the time. Going on dates. Calling her for dates. Begging for dates. Begging for her attention. Trying to seek her approval. Forgetting the MGTOW rules of being a man. Not being an alpha man either. And they fall right in that category that a woman loves. She loves simps. Simps and single mothers go hand in hand. Go hand in hand. Just tied around each other. <laughs> because the simp is looking for that situation that he can impress a mother. They love it. Oh, she a single mother? Oh, I can do this for her, do that for her. Yeah, she'll love that and her kids. They, that's their mentality now. And the single mother, she loves that shit because she got a whole lot of other guys, these top high status guys that she can talk to. And she got a couple of simps that's being her Uber driver, her Lyft driver, driver Miss Daisy, taking her here, taking her there, taking her kids out, doing this, doing all that family shit. And he's such a simp. He's doing the Steve Harvey shit. He's literally waiting for 90 days to have sex. Wow. Wow. While, in the meantime, once the simp go home and her kids are asleep and are in school, either or, here comes the lover, the Mr. Goodbar, beating the pussy up, getting the freaky sex that she claims she doesn't do to the simp. Oh, the lover getting it all. Please believe it. All right? So, when I tell men that women hate the truth, 
See, they hate facing the reality of what it is. Women know that it's other women out here that bash and dog men. There are some good men out here that's stepping up to the plate. Even in these already made families, being that stepfather or father figure to some kids that ain't even his. Do the woman appreciate it? Hells no. I don't met enough single mothers to put a stamp on that shit. No, they don't. And you got pussy ass motherfucker dudes on here. Oh man, if you deal with a single mother, single mothers, get you up. Fuck up. Fuck all that. Alright? See, MGTOW men, we have gotten that voice collectively to vent our real shit, say what we're going to say. And we got other men that's going to come in with their stories. Let us know the game. Alright? That's what it is now. So I don't need women approval and I can give less about females coming on my videos and telling me what I should or shouldn't be doing. Just hit that dislike button and keep it moving. Go find you a channel that a, you got an African-American guy that's saying that all the positive, sweet things you want to hear. All right? I'm not that guy. I'm not, I don't bash all women. I'm just talking about women in general. Women keep bashing men, but show us a real woman. Can you take the fake eyelashes, the fake hair, the fake nails? Can you take all that shit off? All the makeup off? Can you cook a real meal? All right. Can you go out there and get out there and work and bring home that bacon? Can you show a real man that you're going to be genuine and hold him down if he ever lose a job, ever get in an accident and he becomes paralyzed? Are you going to be there and hold that man down? Or are you going to go find your... It's a good question. See, a lot of men willing to go down an aisle and say, I do. And they sign up for the, the looks game. The look game now. But see, we know looks fade over time, and if you don't believe that statement, you can always go to a nursing home, and you can ask a gentleman or a lady to pull out some of their younger pictures, and uh, they can show you how they look before they got in that nursing home, right? Looks fade. So we asking women, besides your looks and your vagina, what else do you bring to the table? See, women hate the truth when a man asks that direct question. They, they, they tune their nose and, and roll their neck and eyes and shit and walk off. See, it's that kind of question they can't answer because see, they're not expecting a real man to ask that shit. Bes besides that, because see, men got sex dolls now for pussy. I mean, if, if you got fake hair and nails and toes and, and makeup on, the sex doll looks just like you. If you're going to sit there and don't moan and groan, that's, the, that's what the sex doll is doing. All right. So what else do you bring to the table besides this sex doll? Because we know the sex doll ain't bringing. But what you, what you bring as a woman? See, women hate that truth. See, women know women for their game. They know it. But see, they want to bash men when men call women out. No, see, what men are doing with this MGTOW shit, we finally letting men know what it is now. For the younger men out there, this is the game. Watch this shit for what it is. The government got the red carpet rolled out for these women. They handing out Oscars, Emmys, Tonys, whatever. AKA food stamps, EBT, WIC, government assistance, whatever they fuck they need. Safety net is always there. All right? A woman can't pay bills, she got a hand right there. A man can't pay child support, they're going to suspend license, put them in jail. That's what we're talking about. How broken the system is. So for women out there, when I, when I do my videos, please understand that I'm telling the truth. And I know the truth hurts sometimes. I know it do. Huh? But I have yet to find a woman on this. Tell me some good quality things that you bring to the table as a woman besides the basics. I'm not saying that. Please understand what I'm saying now. I'm not, I'm not saying your responsibility as a woman. All right. Don't tell me you got your own place, your own car. You are working a good job. You don't have one or two kids or no kids that you can cook. You can clean. No, that's responsibilities. No. What else do you bring to the table as a woman? What makes you unique from all the other women out here on this planet? All right. See, that's the question that men are asking now for the men that actually want to settle down. But I know and I realize that women hate the truth, but it is what it is. For all my big time men out there, stay up. It's your boy, man. Solo mission.